Good morning, I'm Kalina Estrinos, and right now on your 13 Action News update, a former McDonald's employee has been arrested after spitting into a customer's iced coffee. This is a story that 13 Investigates first told you about about a year and a half ago. Customer Cynthia Bayer told our very own Darcy Spears that in February of 2021, this exact thing happened at the drive through on Tropicana in Jones. Now she says she discovered the spit after realizing she drank mucus through a straw. When I felt that texture, it's a slimy, jelly-like texture in your mouth. And you know what that is, and that's definitely not coffee. I could see there was a lot more in the bottom of the cup, and it was a pretty large amount that it was in my mouth. Bayer says she believes this happened after she was asked to complete her order when the employee cut her off. The employee was identified as Felicia O'Neill, who's now facing poisoning and adultering food and drink charges as well. She's posted her $5,000 bail and is due back in court on July 18th. A local church is now asking for answers after a barbecue truck is stolen from their property. Officials with Wells Church in Henderson say a grilling trailer was taken from a church parking lot. They've used the rig to serve food to thousands of people and they're now asking for the public's help to find it. As much as this happened and it's really unfortunate, we all know that it'll all work out in the end, whether we get a new one or somehow it gets returned. And we'll be able to keep serving and keep growing and connecting with the city. The church says they filed a police report and they're looking for possible surveillance footage from local businesses. In the meantime, they started a fundraiser to raise money to replace it. Justin. Kalina, thanks a lot. The heat is on for the foreseeable future. Our Wednesday afternoon gets us back toward 101 degrees here in Las Vegas. Really not bad for the 6th of July, but with all the sunshine this afternoon, some south breezes and a triple digit heat eventually showing up. Anything you're doing outside is going to be very very hot. Uh, 92 degrees uh, after sunset when it's uh, dark outside at 9 p.m. We're still in the low 90s, but eventually we'll drop down to 80. Clean. I wanted to give you a heads up. The heat turns borderline dangerous Friday as we hit 105. We're above that this weekend and next week could deliver the hottest weather so far this year. All right, Justin, thank you. You can always get the latest news at KTNV.com, our KTNV mobile app, our Roku channel, and the latest version of Apple TV.